Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Mods and Jiffy. This is going to be a quick explanation on how to automate these reactors. These are uh, the 7x7s with diamond blocks in between the reactor controls and uh, enderium on the sides. So all three of these are built identically the same. So the first one we're going to be using with the mod is item uh, is Ender IO. And this is the Cyanet reprocessor. This is how you're going to automate the reprocessor. So in here we have the uh, it says cyanide reprocessor block coordinate that's where it will extract the item from if we are to see here I have active without signal it will take the items and this is set on red so this is input so you right here input output is green this will take items and stick it into the uh, reactor since this is an import as you said you also got to set these two blocks right here to uh, this one's a set to outlet mode, so this will output cyanite. Um, it will output it into the reprocessor. It'll take the cyanite, reprocess it into plutonium, and send it right into the as you see plutonium here. We'll send it right into the reactor, which will allow you. This is on input, but which will allow you to have. It reprocess without having to mess with it. Up top, we have a yellow red block. So this is input if you're going to want an input for uh, regular yellow rhythm or uh, pitch blade that allow your or IC2 uranium. This will allow you to input it. As you see, we're just basically extracting without signal. It'll send it into process to grab this out. As you see, it starts putting new blocks in. It's a very simple, very easy way. Right here is what we have is a rest on port I have toggle and pulse so what it was doing if we grab another um, what was that I had to go to equip utilities it is right here so I'm trying to think of the name I can't think of that name I think it's just timer or rest on clock rest on clock sorry rest on clock I have it so just auto shuts off and on as is receiving it by pulse so this will never let the casing go up above 100. I don't know why you would do it that way, but you can. I mean, I don't really see any downside effects from doing it. Here we have it set up for uh, receive a timer. This is set in 22 seconds. And this this is activated. It's hard to do because the, the lights from Thumbcraft keep blocking it. But this will toggle on pulse. So it'll turn it on for a little while to receive the pulse. Then it'll shut it off and uh, send power into the system. So this is pretty much done by uh, I said do three systems, I, Ender IO, ME system, and extra utilities in case people didn't have the certain ones in their mod pack. So this one right here, we have exporting to the front. This will export your own blocks, so we will stick, stick them in here, and it will export into the system right there. And uh, just have a basic cell in here, so that just runs it. And over here we have the same set, that output input, so this output and that's input. Here we have an import bus with cyanite mode move stacks at time. And it'll allow you to remove it from here. It'll get sent into the ME system. Then we export the cyanite using the ME precision or regular export bus. Cyanite gets exported to the cyanite reprocessor. It takes two of these to make uh, two blue plutonium. It takes the plutonium, if we watch it for a quarter of a second, it should take the plutonium. It will send it into the system. Let's see, it'll disappear from here. So I have a import bus. This imports it back into the system. This is very complicated for just something that's so simple. It sends it back into the system. We have water coming in down below. Output, input. So this is uh, receiving power from the hardened energy cell. And it pretty much receives the water from below. And then once that's done, it reprocesses it. It exports it with an export bus into the reactor. Very simple, very quick setup. This one's my favorite. So simple, requires no really effort for you to do. Stick down a transfer node from extra utilities, and uh, can't, let's see if we click on it. This will export any uh, cyanide that comes out since it's uh, set an output. It will export it. Let's see if we can do this. Search for blocks. It will export it into the reprocessor. As it processes that up, it will take this transfer node, and let's see if we. Can catch it takes the plutonium and searches for an area and there we go we got plutonium ingots inside so that's a way 
to set it up to take and process the cyanide into plutonium. You can also here you can set up for if you want your other room to go into the system. Just transfer node. You stick it on the bottom. It'll transfer into the system. And there we go. We have yellow room blocks inside the system. Why are you not? You should be exporting it. Let's go like that. Oh, maybe you have to have it. Maybe it's just too short. That's probably it. It would need more room and it would do it. So right here we have this just set on. The, the pulse is just set to set from signal. This will just, when this lever's on, it will turn on the reactor. Keep it running. When it's shut off, reactor will go off, turn off. Very simple setup. There's different settings you could do for this. I mean, you, there's so many different, like, you could change the control. Here, let me type in some random thing so we can see it. Or I could just turn off thing. Uh, but uh, you could change control rod insertion. So you set for signal while blank. Well, 50% on, you could turn off and set for signal and insert on pulse. It will insert the mode. It will uh, pull up these rods. Whoop. And uh, these allow you to adjust heat. So a lot less heat in the reactor. And that produces more stability but less flux. So that's, that's another neat thing you can do. You can also do output energy mount. Well, it's uh, above 50% heat. You can um, well, active above. It will send out a signal. And you can set this up with another rest important to turn it off. So very simple setup. Uh, I want to thank Enciferous Demon for the suggestion of doing this mods in Jiffy and how to highlight the block. Thank you again. And I hope one of these methods will help you out in automating your actor. Bye-bye.